I could ask you the same thing. It'd be a very silly question. I live here. And it's a silly question for me, too, because I live here. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Since when? Haven't your mom and dad told you? Told me what? The surprise. What surprise? The big surprise you'll get when you talk to them. My cousin Tuberina, she's always so annoying. My cousin Marcelo, he's always so annoying. Come. Tuberina, I was just about to come and see you. Have you met Marcelo yet? I have, Father. That's what I wanted to ask you about. We should have told you earlier, but we've been so busy organizing this year's Royal Ball. Marcelo will be staying with us for a little while. So he is living here. And while he's here, I know you will do everything to help him and make him feel at home, correct? How long will I have to make him feel at home? Just until his mother and father return from the journey. The Hammerhead Sharks are touring the Far Lands. They could be gone for some weeks. Marcella will be here for weeks? Possibly months. Months? Maybe even... Uh... Oh, not years. No, just months. Ugh, months is bad enough. You'll have to excuse us, dear. We got so much to do for the Royal Ball tonight. Yes, Mother. I told you I was living here, Tuberina. But you didn't tell me about your mother and father being away. You didn't ask. We should be quiet. My mother and father are very busy planning the Royal Ball. I know. I'm going. Children aren't allowed. Unless. Unless what? Oh, stupid boy! It's all arranged. We can stay here in my room during the ball. A sea princess sleepover! What fun! What about Marcelo? Oh, don't remind me of him. Bad enough he's living here now. It's only for a few months. It's not forever. It will feel like forever. What is it, Esther? Do you know what it means to have the royal ball right here? Uh, give us a clue? If we're up here and the ball is downstairs, we can sneak down and have a look. That would be wonderful. I bet Marcelo's planning something too. Like what? I bet he's going to sneak into the ball too. But he won't be the first prince or princess to do it. Who was first? Us because we're going to beat him to it. Everyone looks so grand. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Shark Castle. And we'll get an even closer look at them soon. So will I. So you are going to sneak down to the ball. And I don't plan to get caught like you will. We won't be caught. You'll be caught, and I'll be laughing. You won't have time to laugh. You'll be in too much trouble after they discover you. My only trouble will be getting sick from laughing too much when they catch you. Why don't we plan something together and make sure none of us gets caught? No, no way! way. <laughs> Pointer, what are you doing here? This is my room. Excellent. I see you've met your babysitter for tonight. Babysitter? As the Shark King, I can think of no better babysitter than Pointer. He'll look after you perfectly. But, Father, we don't need a babysitter. There'll be no trouble, Uncle. 
Of course you won't, especially now that you have such an excellent minder. I must be returning to the ball. Have a good night. Go on, Superina. You're the shark princess. Talk to him. About what? About how we're old enough to look after ourselves. Uh, I'll try. Uh, Pointer, this is really such a waste of your time. We don't need a babysitter. We'll be fine on our own. Do you want to know what he said? I think we got it. Everyone's arrived. The ball will be starting any moment. We'll never get to see it now. You definitely won't get to see it with old Fang Face watching us. Only my father would get a shark like him as a babysitter. What can we do? There's only one thing for it. If we want to see the royal ball, we'll have to work together. Uh, I, I suppose. suppose. But we have to get around him first. Gummy, take this and see if Pointer will play with you. Good idea. A diversion. <laughs> Much for that idea. Hmm. He could have just said no thank you. We can't do anything with him watching. We might as well just go to sleep. Hey, that could be it. What's it? We don't want to go to sleep. But we can try and make him go to sleep. Do sharks sleep? They do go into a dreamy state. That's all we need. So what do we have to do? Just do like I do. Oh. I'm so sleepy. Oh, so am I. <laughs> One more time, all together. <laughs> Let's just go. Because the shark might wake up any moment. We sneak in through the window, we have a look, we sneak out and back upstairs. Got, Got it. it! Do you have to say everything I say? I said it first. You did not. Well, you two cut it out! Come on, and go carefully. Wow! It's even more beautiful than I thought it would be. It is! But... but what? Isn't it... Sort of... Boring. No music is being played. No one's dancing. No one's even talking much. And I can't see a smile anywhere. No one's having any fun. It can't be boring. It's the royal ball. Oh, what a waste. Let's go. Wait a minute. Maybe something will happen now. Hello, kings and queens of Salacia. Welcome to the royal ball. It's a great honor to see you all here. Sorry. I was wrong. It's just starchy old speeches. Let's get out of here while everyone's looking at my mother and father. Oh, oh, I think we're in trouble. Oh, my. Pointer. Pointer, what's the matter? Why aren't you upstairs looking after the princesses? <gasps> he spotted us. We'll never get out of here. Your father's going to be so cross. Not if we disappear. Disappear? How are we gonna just disappear? Watch this, cousin. <laughs> Will somebody turn on the lights, please? Thank you. Now, who is responsible for this? Pointer, what's come over you? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pointer. 
For the first time tonight, people seem to be enjoying themselves. You're right. They are too. Wonderful work, Pointer. You're a hit. Music, please. <laughs> So I did make us disappear. Well, you got lucky. Listen! Everyone's laughing. And there's music. The royal ball doesn't sound boring anymore. It sounds like the king and queens are actually having fun. Do you think we did that? We probably did, thanks to me. You? It was my idea to sneak into the ball and have a look. We had that idea too. You'd never have made it if I didn't know how to trick the babysitter. And you'd have been in big trouble if I didn't know how to switch off the lights. Why don't we just agree that you both did a good job? All right. Stop, Stop repeating, repeating me! You, you did, did it again! again. <laughs> I think Gummy has a good suggestion. Let's play chase ball. Or would you two rather argue the whole night? Probably. <laughs> Great, I'm glad that's settled. Esther, Gummy, let's see how good these cousins are at chasing. What do you think, cousin? Can we catch him? I can, as long as you don't slow me down. Me slow you? Got you again. To think I've got to put up with him for months. Watch out, Marcelo! I'll show you who's slow! I thought school would never end. Come on, let's go! What's so big hurry? We don't want to be late. Late for what, Tuberina? You still haven't told us. You'll see when we get there. If we get there on time. Hurry! This better be good. That's all I can say. We made it. So, are we late? No, we're right on time. On time for what? I don't see anything. Shh. Listen. Here they come. Wow! You were right, Chiburina. I am amazed! Every year the whale sharks migrate past here. Same time, same place. They're beautiful. Hello! Hello! Hello. I've never seen such big sharks. Wait till you see Leo. He's the biggest of them all, and he leads the migration. So that's Leo? Uh, no. So that must be Leo. No, that's not him either. Does anyone know where Leo is? Have you seen Leo? What did they say? Leo was with them. But he's not with them now? No. So where is he? I have to find out. Wait for us! Leo can't be far away. He'd never leave the others for long. Is that Leo? That's him! That's him! Leo! You're right again, Chiburina. He is the biggest. But something's wrong. He looks a bit sick. He is sick. What's he doing? <coughs> He's looking for someone. Who is it, Leo? Who are you looking for? <coughs> His younger brother, Jimmy. Leo, come with us to my mother and father. You've got to rest. Then we'll help you look for Jimmy. Please. Do you want me to tell the shark king and queen that you won't rest? They won't be pleased. That did it. Come on, Leo. We have to get you better. What did your mother and father say about helping Leo? Nothing. Nothing? Why not? Because they're not here. But I do have this. It's one of our great books on the shark kingdom. There should be something here about the illnesses of whale sharks. Have you found anything yet? We just started looking, Esther. Okay. What about now? Could this be it? 
red blotches on the skin, milky eyes all saggy. That sounds exactly like Leo. It says that the crushed leaves of the purple sack seaweed will help him recover. Then let's get some, right now. Uh, there's just one thing I need to know. Where do you find some purple sack seaweed? That's the thing. Gummy says that there's some on the other side of the seagrass plain. So why are we waiting? You look after Leo Tuberina. We'll be back soon. Good luck! This is gonna be easy! Unless something is out there in the seagrass. Honestly, Polvina, you're such a worrywart sometimes. See? It's easy. I told you there was nothing to worry about. A barracuda! Die! That's something I didn't want to meet. We'll just have to sneak around him. Where did he go? I think we lost him. How do you know? Because we're sea princesses, and sea princesses are much smarter than Barracuda. You must rest for a while, Leo. You're very sick. Mm. Esther and Polvina will be back soon with the seaweed. Yes, we'll look for your brother as soon as they return. I promise, Leo. Oh, your skin looks so sore. We must have something that can help. You stay with Leo, Gummy. I'll be right back. Why is that Barracuda so angry? The seagrass must be his territory. Can't we tell him that we only want to get some seaweed for a sick shark? We could, if we knew how to speak Barracuda, which we don't. <laughs> There's a reef ahead. Maybe we can hide there. <laughs> It's just an old shell. Check how weird we look. Can you believe it? This might be exactly what we need for that barracuda. It might? This lotion should help your skin, Leo. Leo? Where are you? How can I lose something as big as a whale shark? And where's Gummy? Leo? Gummy? Is he falling for it? I think so. What now? We sneak around, get the seaweed for Leo, and head back as quick as we can. Gummy! Where did you go? And where's Leo? That way? Gummy, stop! That's a drylander thing. We don't want that. We want to find Leo. <laughs> Gummy! <laughs> this should be enough seaweed to make the medicine. How long will the Barracuda keep looking at himself? Uh, not long enough! What do we do now? Why is it always me who has to think of an idea? Because you usually do. So, do you have one? Maybe. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You're stuck. You must be Jimby, right? <coughs> Leo is looking for you, and we're looking for Leo. <coughs> okay, I know. I'll get you out. Oh, oh, this is hopeless. 
I'll have to go for help, Jimby. I can't do this on my own. You stay right here. Leo? Are you looking for me? Forget about her. What about me? Take your medicine, Leo. It can't taste that bad. Yuck. Yes, it can. You must take it, Leo. Otherwise, you'll never get well, and you'll never see your hurt again. Ever. That's it. See? I knew you could do it if you tried. Uh... Where is he going? He's not properly well yet. He says he's feeling much better, good enough to join the others. If they don't go now, they'll never catch up to them. Goodbye, Leo! Goodbye, Jimbe! <laughs> See you both next year! We'll be here! Did you say we, Chirberina? Why? Is there a problem? No problem. Just the next time you want to show us something, can you give us some warning? That way we can be somewhere else. All right, then. If that's how you feel. We do. And what's more, we're really sorry you're going to miss out. On what? When I was making Leo's medicine, I saw some fresh seaweed cookies on the bench. And we're going to get to them first. Catch us if you can, Tuberina. Oh, you see, worms, you'll never beat me! <laughs> okay, it's through here, everybody. The Grand Library of Salacia. It is a place of study, so be as quiet as you can. How big is this place? From the height of the walls and the length of the room, I'd say huge. You all have a project to do, so it's up to you to find the books you need. I'll be at a meeting downstairs if anybody needs me. Good luck. Let's go there. Perfect. Just what I needed for my project on dolphins. I still haven't decided what I'll do. Plankton, humpbacked whales, or tides. You'll never guess what I'm doing. Coral. coral. How did you know? You always do projects on coral. Well, not this time. Then why the book on coral? To remind me not to do another project on coral. Really? Oh, all right. I'm doing another coral project. There's nothing wrong with coral, you know. We never said there was. What to do? Hmm. I like all these ideas. I know what. I'll write something. That always helps me think. Hello? Who's that? I know someone is there. Is that you, Marcello? You can't scare me like this. Play your silly 
games with someone else, Marcelo. No! Where is it? <laughs> Don't read that. It's private. Since when? Since always. What's so funny, anyway? Hey, we're laughing at a joke. What did one eye say to the other eye? There's something between us that smells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, maybe it wasn't that funny. Oh? It's a book of jokes. I thought... I'm sorry. What's up with her? I know, Hugo, but I want to find out. Come on! Are you looking for something, Polvina? No. It looks like you're looking for something. If I am, it's not here. What's not here? Nothing. This nothing must be something. Tell us what it is and we'll help you look. I've lost my diary. You have a diary? What of? What's in it? Just stuff. Stuff about us? Stuff like secrets? Do you write about all the secrets I tell you? What about the secrets I tell you? Bad things? Do you say bad things about us? Stop! It's a diary. The things I write in it aren't good or bad. They're just thoughts. Private thoughts. If we find that diary, you know what we'll have? Uh, Paulvina's diary? Of course we'll have that. But inside will be all the secrets of the girls. It'll be gold. You do say some good things about us in your diary too, don't you? How many good things are there to bad things? I don't know. Small things. Small things that I write and forget. Please, just help me find it. Don't worry. We'll help you. It's about this big and has a red cover. Stop, you little stealer! Stop! That's Isa! Did you see it? See what? A lionfish! It took my school bag! A lionfish? It was new, too, with pretty red shells on it. Polvina, maybe this lionfish also took your diary. You write a diary? What's in it? Let's just find this lionfish and get your bag back. And the diary. This is great. Yeah, why? Because this lionfish might be a thief. Right. So? If we catch it, we'll be the heroes. And we'll get Polvina's secrets too. I still don't understand why a lionfish would take things. <gasps> what was that? Don't! Go away! Leah, what happened? A soulfish just took my pencils! A soulfish? Were they red? How did you know? Everything that's been taken is red. Your pencils, Isa's bag, and my diary. But who took them? Is it a soulfish or a lionfish? Whatever it is, it's still here. Ah! Yeah, Garrett! Wasn't it a sea snake? It went that way. That door! Hurry up, we'll lose them. Was it a sea snake? It was a soulfish, wasn't it? I bet it was a lionfish. Yeah, something like that. What are you doing here? We're looking for the diary. Oh, Hugo. You know about my diary? Uh, no, we don't know anything about a diary. Especially the diary with all your secrets in it that we really want to read. <gasps> you do know about my diary! First thing to do is find whatever it is taking things. We'll all look at Polvina's diary later. <laughs> This is spooky. I know. Good, isn't it? Scared, Tuberina? You're the scariest looking thing around here, Marcello. Could you cousins argue later? Over there. No one's here. Look! A lionfish! Come with me. Hold on. It's no lionfish. That's a soulfish. Follow me. It's not that way, everyone. It's this way. 
Hello? I don't know what you are, but I'm coming to meet you. Hello? My name's Paulina. What's yours? <gasps> it's all right. I won't hurt you. I just want to know why you're taking things. Like my diary, for instance. <gasps> how? Uh, how did you do that? A sea snake can't turn into a soulfish. And a soulfish can't turn into a lionfish. It won't work. You can't scare me. Because I know you're not a real lionfish. So, what are you? Uh-huh. There's only one thing you can be. You don't have to run away! Come back! It must be on the other side. All we have to do is jump out and grab it. You will? Good luck. No, we will. Both of us together. Yeah, good plan. Except for the together part. Get ready now! Gotcha! Ah! You! We lost the lionfish. It's not a lionfish, it's a soulfish. Whatever it is, you lost it too. We have found something. We have? That. It looks like it's somebody's home. No one's here. Check it out. There's Isa's school bag. And Leah's pencils. This must be Paul Vina's diary. All right! Show us the secrets. Coming right up. The ditzy secrets of a ditzy girl. Hey! That's not for you to look at. But you want to read it too. We're Polvina's friends. It's all right for us to look at it. Of course it is. I think. We can't do it. I can do it. That was a lionfish. I told you it was a lionfish. It's not a lionfish or a soulfish or a sea snake. Then what is it? I am Polvina. The octopus princess. You can come out now and show yourself as you really are. See? It's an octopus. An octopus? It's called a mimic octopus. <gasps> Is that my diary? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, your friends here are about to read it, so uh, I took it back. I mean, diaries are totally like private things, right? What? Well, lucky for you, I kept it safe. Here. Thanks. But Marcelo, didn't we... we gotta go. Bye, guys. It didn't happen like that, Polvina. Honestly. Don't worry. I already guessed that. And there's no way we would read your diary. I guessed that, too. You did? Of course. You're my friends, and I know my friends would never do anything like that. Even though there's not much in it. There, there isn't? isn't? How uh -huh. come? It's just some ideas for new school projects. Is that all? Then what was all that stuff about secrets and private thoughts? I don't know. I was going to ask you the same question. Anyway, let's forget it. Come and meet my newest friend. <laughs> the mimic octopus can change its shape to look like other creatures. A sea snake, a soulfish, and a lionfish. And back to an octopus. But why did it take everyone's stuff? Some octopi like to collect colorful things to put around their dens. This one likes red things. He promises not to do it again. What a lot of great ideas to write about in your diary. I know. A mystery, a chase, and a new friend. What I still don't have, though, is a project to do. Fantastic idea! What could be a better project than you? Can you find me some books about you? We'll help. Just show us the way. You are lots of trouble, Mr. Diary. From now on, I think you should stay right out of sight. Be good now. Bye!
<laughs> what is that? It was hidden in there. Nothing else. No idea. Let's open it and find out. That's beautiful. And there's a card, too. I don't know what it says. Let's ask Father. I agree, Paulina. It's very beautiful. The card, Father. What does it say? Hmm. This is interesting. What does it say? <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea. Oh. But I do know it's in the ancient language of the Abysmal Kingdom. The Abysmal Kingdom? So you know what you have here, Paulina? What, Father? A mystery. I sort of knew that much. Your mother should be back tonight from her visit to your aunt. She might have some answers. This is really cool, Polvina. Your very own mystery. Not just that, but a mystery we should solve. Hopefully we will when my mother returns. What if your mother doesn't get back tonight? What then? What else do we do? Go down to the Abysmal Kingdom and ask them what the card says? Finally! That's what I wanted to hear! We can't go down to the Abysmal Kingdom. It's way too dangerous. It's not that bad. It's worse. It's dark and creepy. Full of the weirdest creatures. We don't know what we'll find there. All great reasons to go! Esther, there are reasons not to go. If you don't want to come, I'll go by myself. You know we won't let you go by yourself. If you go, we have to go too. I know. So, are you coming? This is blackmail. That's the idea. Come on! How do we let her talk us into these things? Are you sure this is the right way, Esther? Of course I'm sure. It's over here. We don't even know what we're looking for. We'll never know if we just stand here talking. I'm gone! Esther! Wait for us! <laughs> don't get too far ahead, Esther. Catch up, then! Can't you at least turn the lamp on? There. Satisfied. Come on, scaredy fish. We made it! The Abyssable Kingdom! Look out! Ooh, I told you about those weird creatures. It didn't seem to pay us any attention. Maybe if we leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. And maybe they won't, either. So which way to the Abysmal Palace, Esther? Which way what? We should speak to the Abysmal King and Queen about the card. That's why we're here, remember? Uh, the palace can't be too far away. You said you knew where we were going. I do, to a point. This is the point. Oh no! Now what? Let's think. We don't know where we are, we don't know where to go, and we have no light. What's our plan? Help! Anybody help! Who dares to trespass in the abysmal kingdom? Ah! Speak! Speak now! We're from Salacia. Up there. I'm Polvina, and this is Esther and Tuberina. We don't mean to trespass, but we're lost. Why didn't you just say so? Uh, you just did. Right, you did too. My mistake. Uh, sorry about the big bossy voice. You have entered the abysmal kingdom. Beware! <laughs> Impressive, though, don't you think? Um, yeah, very. Uh, what are you looking at? I've got a zit, right? Where is it? On my nose? Oh, how embarrassing. We're just surprised to see a girl down here. You look just like us. I, I am like you. I'm Bea, the abysmal princess. It's so great to have visitors. Do you get many visitors down here? You're the first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not really true. Some kings and queens visit, but I never get to meet other princesses. That's why I'm so happy you're here. It's fantastic you're here. 
Why are you here? We want to see your parents. My parents? How come? We have this mystery. We thought maybe they can help us solve it. <gasps> I love mysteries! They're so mysterious! Come with me and bring that mystery! Why have we never seen you at school, Bea? The light at school's too bright for my eyes. So I do my schoolwork at home, and Miss Marla visits once a month. She does? We never knew that. Oh, you're so lucky you can all go to school together. It gets lonely down here with no other girls around. You poor thing. I never thought of going to school as lucky. I might have to change my mind. We all might have to. Here we are. The abysmal palace. Ugh, looks a bit spooky. Maybe we should come back another time. No way! We're not turning back now. Come on! It's this way! Huh? This is so nice. The throne room is just through that door. You go in and I'll be with you soon. Are you sure it's all right for us to just wander in? Of course it is. Don't be shy. All right, Bia. We'll see you in there. Hello? Abysmal King? Abysmal Queen? We hope this is not an intrusion, but we need your help. There's no one here. Surprise! Bia! Where are the king and queen? You're looking at them. Me! For a little while, anyway. I don't get it. The Abysmal Kingdom is so big that my mother and father are away quite a lot. When they are, I'm in charge. Why didn't you tell us before? That would have spoiled the surprise. You're not wrong. Now that you're here, what is this mystery all about? I found these hidden in a room of my home. My father couldn't explain them, but he did think that they could have come from the Abysmal Kingdom. Hmm, the toy I've never seen before. But the card, I can read the card. Oh, well, what does it say? To my little friend, may you get well soon. Keep this small gift safe until you are better. So the toy is a gift! But to who? And from who? The card isn't signed. But it is in the language of the Abysmal Kingdom, so somebody from here gave it. Who? Can you believe it? We've got even more questions now. I'm sorry I can't help anymore. At least we know what it says now. So what now? Maybe it's time to get back. But we've only just got here. I think Tuberina's right, Esther. We've got a long way to travel. Oh, I'll help you get home. You'll only get lost if you go by yourselves. <coughs> now that was a very nice slipper. Don't mind him. He likes to act tough. You're really an old softie, though, aren't you, Slipper? Okay, everyone, climb on and get ready for the ride of your life! It's just us, Tenti! Don't be afraid! Whoa! That was fun! Thanks, Slipper! It's been fantastic to meet you, Bia. I've got an idea. Why don't you come and visit us when you have some time? You can come and stay nights, when the light won't hurt your eyes. Oh, that'd be so cool. I'd love to. I'll, I'll talk to my mother and father as soon as they get back. We'll be waiting. Bye. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Now, didn't I tell you? We had a great time in the Abysmal Kingdom. But we still haven't solved the mystery. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? I've got a feeling I already know the answers. I hope Mia speaks with her parents soon about staying with us. We could have such a great time together. Especially if she brings Slipper to ride on. Hello, girls. Mother, you're back. Mm -hmm. Your father told me about some toy you found. It sounds unusual. He said you'd remember it. Yes, I do remember now. It's a gift from the old abysmal king. That explains the card. But what about the toy? 
And who was the gift for? The gift was for you, Povina. Me? Yes. It's all coming back to me now. The old abysmal king visited when you were just a toddler. He gave that to you as a gift. But you were ill, so he put it away in a safe place. Mm-hmm, but he must have forgotten to tell you where he placed it. And it's been hidden away there all these years. It was yours all along, Polvina. You said you thought you knew about it. How amazing! Finding it after all these years. <laughs> what a story. <laughs> I'll have to tell the abysmal king and queen when I see them again. Now that I think of it, I'm going there soon. You are, father? You can come with me, Polvina, and Esther and Tuberina if they'd like. Yes, please! But I warn you, it's a very strange place down there. I think we'll be okay, father. Mm. Oh, and you'll get to meet the abysmal princess Bia. I'm sure you'll like her. We know we will. <laughs> 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 <laughs>